Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at this Mega Drive plug and play. It's going to be some blast to the past with some blast passing power. Or basically it's fake power because this isn't. Yep, and I'm guessing this is an game product. Let's take a close look at it. Ah, there it is. Here it says, Hot Games, including 10 different games. And I'm wondering, is this thing shitty like we have seen with all the previous model? Or is this pretty decent? You never know. Uh, so let's open it up. And I bought it second hand, so it's not brand new. And I know I didn't pick it up from AliExpress because I know some of these devices can be found uh, on AliExpress, but this one, uh, I didn't find it or it's not for sale. Nevertheless, you can find it there. Let's put it that way. So most of the time, if you want to grab something like this, you need to check your uh, thrift shop or you need to check out if you're going to find a secondhand seller or on some page over there. It works on four, holy crap, four AA batteries. Oh boy, man. And it's like a real plug and play. There is no way to plug in an adapter. So that's what you're going to get. The D-pad itself, oh boy. Ooh, it's really sturdy. It's really sturdy. It's like a floating D-pad. You can see it with the SIG button, Mega Drive. Only this is the three button, menu button, and start. Okay, so let's grab myself some batteries and let's plug it in because it's going to be some plug and play action, old school with EV out. Sadly, with mono. Oh, I hate it. Oh no. All right, so I bought this product. The only problem I'm always having with these devices, not with this one, by the way, because he sent me a really nice one that they are leaving their freaking batteries in. Let me know in the comments if you have seen this problem many times. I have this all the freaking time. So when I'm getting myself plug and play devices, most of the time it's going to be a freaking nightmare. Over here with the on and off switch, you can see like the LED goes on. Oh, over there, like wicked got it. Man, having a brain fart again, having a brain fart. So don't forget to check out my second channel, the Wicked Brain Fart channel. So let's plug in the audio with the white cable and the yellow for the display. Let's power on the monitor and let's go. Let's have some fake Sega power. All right, so let's turn it on. That games with the fire core. Oh, by the way, uh, the music will be slightly slower than you know it, especially for the US watchers, because we had 50 or Paul here. Yeah, I hate it myself too, but okay, that's what you're going to get. Okay, the collection itself is interesting. Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball, Alien Storm Columns, Decap Attack. Let's go to the Mean Bean Machine, Echo, Eastwatt, Goal Next 2, Shadow Dancer, and that's it. There are only two pages. There is no way of adding games, so that would be so cool if you can find like a plug and play device if you make something in China. So you have like an SD card you can plug in, that would be so cool. But yeah, that's it, so let's try some games. Oh boy, I'm, I'm not excited, I'm nervous because this is not going to be good. I know it, I can feel it. I feel it with my Mega Wicked Mojo. Okay. Oh, this sounds really bad. I just think in fair gonna shit my pants. Oh my god, what is this? It's really horrible. So what I already told you, like, it sounds a little bit slower. Oh, that sound of the rings. Oof. How can you mess up this man? It's Sonic with bad sound. Nope, you missed me, buddy. That sounds. <laughs> My ears are bleeding. <laughs> Normally, I just love the soundtrack. The sound for the save for the first stage. I love the soundtrack. Toxic caves. How do I use the second flipper? I'm going to kill myself. How do I freaking use the my second player doesn't work? Oh, that's how it works. All right.
even that the sound of this game sucks, I can live with it. Shadow Dancer. All right. I always had the idea that like some of these games sound less worse than the other one. I don't know why it is, but like that sounds okay. The image quality itself is not bad at all, because I have seen my share of shitty products, especially when it comes to AliExpress. Most of the AliExpress products have a really bad sound, or a combination of bad signal output. Talking in gaming is really pretty damn hard. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> but let's try not again. Ethwad nineteen ninety. Let's put it up. I never played it back in the day when I was a child. I wish I did, because this game is pretty cool. The same like Rolling Thunder, but I did play that game. Rented it a couple of times from the renting store called Video Land. Oh man, good times. Still the sound is completely messed up, stuff like that, but again, I can enjoy the games. Maybe it's possible that I am not familiar with the soundtracks. People are familiar with this game will really hate it. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Holy crap, this sounds really weird. Give it a little bit of a beat with it, and we're going to get some hardcore. It doesn't really sound like horrible, it sounds completely messed up. Yay! And then I press the button for the freaking power up. I was just hitting the diff the wrong way. Unlike Wario. Mamma mia! Slice you in half! So, Golden X2, I must say, I really love these games. Oh crap, I was too late. But I was going to get my ass kicked in these games. Do you know what? Do you know what? Time for the special. Oh yeah! Okie dokie, so let's open it up. Nowadays I just love to do a teardown of these systems, just to do a quick peek in the inside. Sometimes we can find some information, sometimes we can because they use a black bob and protecting some information. Protecting them, yes my friends. But it doesn't matter, I just want to do a quick teardown, removing all of the parkers. And be over it because I want to tear down the Sega Ed Games shitty controller. Okay, this one already loose. Most of the time, there's nothing, there's nothing or almost nothing inside of these controls. Nothing. There's of course, no, there, there can be nothing, or it need to like be a freaking leprechaun in it. He escapes when I open it up. All right. Okay, so let's see. So first of all, the only thing that contains this control of is two shells. They are like very thin wires. The only downside they soldered straight on the main board, so I need to be very careful that I'm not going to rip them off of the main board. But let's do a quick overview and uh, yeah, let's see. What are we going to get on the inside? So this is made by Digital Media Cartridge Limited. I have reviewed a couple of other devices that are rebranded or there is something going on like this company makes these for ad games. Made in 2007. Holy shit. This thing is really old, like prehistoric. The switch over here, the on and off. 
but as I told you, black blob, so we can't see anything. There is no information on the chip. I'm guessing this is, I think, the processor itself. But there is nothing much to see. But there is no leprechaun. That's one thing to be sure for. Yeah, yeah. Or is it? Who knows? Alright guys, so this is what we're going to get with the Mega Drive. Plug and play. 10 Sega games in one. I wanted to review it on my channel for some time now. And I picked it up complete in box. Will I keep this thing in my collection? I don't know to be honest. Some of these products I just buy to make a review because I find it just a really cool piece of hardware to show here on the channel. I really like how comfortable it is, how it plays when it comes to the controls, but the audio wise, it's just a freaking nightmare. Let me know in the comments, did you ever own something like this and what is your experience? I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family, and it will be great to see you in the next video. Just leave it there. <laughs>